Hey there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today we're going to be going over ways to edit the mobile site and website builder. Now, I've created this desktop site with some common fixes that will need to be made within both the desktop and the mobile side in order to make it look good. First, we'll talk about editing text within the mobile site. So, not all text that you add in the desktop site is going to translate well to the mobile. For example, this text box here has a really large font size and a really wide font type. So while it has the space to display this in the desktop side, if we go into the mobile, it's going to be cut off. It takes up a huge amount of space and just generally does not look good. So there is a fix for this to where you don't have to change the text in the desktop, but you can make it smaller in mobile. Uh, the way to do this is to use text styles. So if you click on design on the left and click on text style, you can customize these styles to be a certain size, a certain font, and a certain color. So this text box here is body large, which is a really large font size and a really wide font type. So for body medium, I'm going to set it to a smaller font size, but the same font type and the same color to keep it really consistent. Once I have that set up, I can go into the mobile site, and if I haven't edited the text box before, I'll be able to click on it, click Advanced, click Style, and turn on Mobile Custom Style. Now, if you've already tried to edit the text box in mobile, this fix is not going to work for that text box. So what you'll have to do is go back into the desktop site and just recreate that text box. Delete the one you have, add a new one, and just take the time to recreate it because this fix is worth it for how it turns out in the mobile. So once you're in this style page under text, you can choose from a different text style. So I'm going to choose body medium. And as you can see, that looks so much better. It's smaller. It's not cut off. It doesn't take as much space. And it just gives a, a much better look to this mobile site. And it has not changed the desktop site. This is exactly the same as it has been. So it just changes the style for the mobile and allows it to be a bit more optimized for the mobile site. Another recommendation I have for text is, for example, this all rights reserved text here. It's centered in the middle of the page, but in the mobile, it's off to the left. And that's going to look odd because naturally elements like social media icons, a photo gallery, images, boxes, stuff like that, they're all going to be centered in the site on the mobile. Only text is going to be left or right aligned depending on how you have it set up in the desktop site. So to kind of fix that, I do recommend, unless you have a specific reason for wanting text to be left or right aligned, just go in and center your text. It's most likely that it's not going to make a huge difference to your desktop site. As you can see, it didn't here but it's going to look a lot better when I go into the mobile side and this is centered just like the other elements. Another thing I want to go over is when you're adding text boxes, I have seen a lot of people who just press enter a bunch of times to create space if they want to have like a picture in between some text. That does not translate well to mobile because mobile doesn't layer. So here I have like a rectangle for the background color I have a text box that has a bunch of space so that I can add this picture here. And it works in the desktop because it layers. But when you go into mobile, it's going to have the text with the huge space in the middle. It's going to have this gray rectangle, and it's going to have the image all separate. And of course, that does not look good. So the way to fix that would be, first of all, you don't want to use shapes for background colors. You can either use actual background colors like box color or a better way to do it would be to use a box. Now a box is a container on the website that you can hold elements and it'll group them all together and you can change the style to give it a different background color. You could even have it be a clear box so it's sort of hidden but it's still functioning the same. It'll group your elements together. Um, so I'm going to put it as that color I had and then what you want to do for the separate text boxes is instead of having it be separate by clicking enter a bunch of times, you actually want to create separate text boxes. 
So delete all the space and condense this box as much as you can. Then add a new text box for that second line. And just make sure to make it all the same size so it's very consistent, as I mentioned earlier. And condense this text box as well. You always want to condense your text boxes as much as possible because if you have a bunch of space at the end of your text box, while it might not show up in desktop, you will see that in mobile. So move the elements into the box how you want them to display. And if you'll see when I'm moving the element into the box, it says attached to box at the top. That's how you know it's going where you want it to go. Then you can move the box and all of the elements move with it. So not only is it a really helpful feature for desktop for grouping elements, it also works really well in the mobile because now as you can see, this text and the image and the other text is all grouped together the way you wanted it. So using containers like a box is really, really helpful for editing the mobile, especially with like mixed media elements like this.